Hi everyone, this is Telemachus and we're going to do one more for bypassing Microsoft Defender and God knows what other AV solution. This time we're going to practice with a common power cell reverse cell payload uh, and I'm going to use refcells.com which is freaking awesome to generate and grab one real quick. This is my attacker machine IP which is a Kali VM right here. Here's the IP address. The, the port can be really anything so I'm just gonna use Windows. I'm just gonna grab a code template for a reverse cell here and I'm going to save this in a file. I'm pasting this in here. I've turned uh, temporarily Defender off and for simplicity's sake let's see what this is, supp this is supposed to do. Okay, so I'm gonna set a listener on the attacker machine and I'm going in PowerShell, power cell, I'm gonna throw this in and if I execute without Defender being on I get a reverse cell and I can execute commands on the victim, let's say, machine. So let's close this and this is something that is not gonna work, of course, if the seals are turned on and here's what's gonna happen this time. Script contains malicious content and it's flagged and blocked. So I'm gonna, this is gonna be a manual example, we're going to manually edit parts of this payload to make it uh, work, to make it unrecognizable by Defender, but before we start I want to add just a tiny bit of automation and I'm going to run this script which is called the randomized variables and if I make it, what, what is this going to do is gonna take our payload and generate a version that is the original exactly as we copied it from refcells.com and one that is exactly the same but with random variable names for example client here became the string and uh, stream became this one and that's the only difference and that's because I believe that uh, a payload that the, the variable names have been uh, randomized because this is a very common template and this, this combination of variables is really n n very known and used so we have a better chance to change something slightly on this version and make it work than actually on this one so let's begin I paused for a minute here just to check for updates so I'm, my system is up to date uh, Defender is on everything is on so let's begin I'm gonna close this I'm gonna get the I'm gonna copy this right here let's open PowerShell one more time let's make it a little better we're gonna paste it and uh, I'm gonna set up a listener and of course this just uh, changing the variable names to random ones doesn't really do the trick okay this is still flagged as malicious and let's start substit substituting things with something else and maybe we can break the signature of this thing and make it work so the first thing I would like to start with is this this part right here which is basically constructing the, the cell prompt as we can see it's it has the PS uh, prefix which is stands for power cell and then the current working directory is supposed to be uh, right here so this payload executes the pwd command to to get the path and construct it right right back here like it's a normal cell and then this prompt symbol right here so i think it's, this is pretty common for payload templates like this and maybe if we can substitute pwd with something else or anything in this part but i'm just gonna do this right now i think we might have a chance to actually bypass defender like that so what is the substitute for PWD? Well, check this out. There's this command, which I think is really cool. Split path, which uh, returns a specified part of a path based on the user's arguments in this commandlet. So, but by default, if you just give it a, a path, and I'm gonna give it my user's path, for example, it will return the parent uh, directory of the last uh, child uh, resource or, or folder and uh, this is really cool because it doesn't really check if the resource exists so whatever you put it will just al always return the parent which this gives us the opportunity to do something like this
we will use a PWD, but we will just do something like this, which also stands for PWD, this line right here. And even if it includes it, it's, it kind of breaks the signature of this thing. So if we just replace this part with this command, let's say, and we execute now, we actually made it work. And I'm not sure this is going to work uh, with the original version. For example, let's try it out. I'm going to temporarily put this here. Let's break our, our current reversal. Let's copy the original one. Put it here. Get this line again. And let's see if this would actually work without the variables substitution, I mean. So, no, actually it worked. I just didn't enable the reverse, the listener. So yes, actually it works even without randomizing the variables. It's okay. Let's see something else now. Another thing we're going to try is uh, adding single or double quotes between commandlets in the payload. So the idea is this. I've demonstrated this before in another video. Uh, PowerShell, for some reason, can still execute this. It ignores or I don't know exactly how it interprets this, but it's something you can do. The commandlets would still run and uh, it's great for obfuscating payloads. So let's start our listener again. Let's grab our payload again. I'm going to I'm going to grab this one with the randomized variables. I'm going to paste it here. And let's try this a bit. So I'm going to go here. Uh, do it here and there. Out. String. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. It actually worked. So really simple. Let's run something to be sure. Okay, this also seems to be doing the trick. Let's try playing with strings this time. We're going to change uh, a few strings with... Uh, we will st substitute them using some chip tricks. Yeah, that's the proper description of what we're going to do now. So I'm going to grab one more time the payload every time I reset because I want to see minor changes that do the trick. Of course, all these things that are demonstrated can be combined. And that would be much more effective but uh, let's see what we can do okay here we have the string of the ip address and uh, if you start counting this is 15 uh, characters long so maybe if we do substring which is a function to return a, a part of the of a string uh, based on indexes i'm gonna do starting index is zero meaning the first character and let's do 15 which means return we're trying to do a substring of the string but we're actually returning the full string so okay this is really i don't think this is gonna work but <laughs> and but it actually worked maybe it worked before because the variables are also randomized maybe uh because that was really simple i don't know okay um let's do another trick with strings i'm gonna close this i'm gonna grab the payload again and uh, let's see what we got okay maybe sometimes it's it's easy and fun to to do this i'm going to put this into parentheses i'm gonna put a random string here like as12 and i'm going to replace this string and i'm going to match it using uh, regular expressions so i'm gonna write a regex that, that can match this string which is this will probably do the trick of course there are many 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 variations you can do here and that is that is what is awesome about uh, obfuscating strings with uh, regex replacements stuff like that so and we're gonna replace this with what was originally supposed to be there which is this and maybe i don't think so but maybe 
Oh, this didn't work. Okay. Uh, I am curious. What if we just change the red legs, maybe? Maybe if we do... Um, AZ and 0, 9 and put something stupid that doesn't really exist just to make it weirder or maybe this is what is getting caught i'm not sure let's no this is not gonna work uh what if we x y z if we add this in a variable and go here and say replace this with X, Y, Z. Still, it's breaking me. <laughs> okay, good one, defender. You won this time. Uh, let's. What's gonna happen if we just parse it as a variable? Very small change. Okay, I didn't expect that to work. I, I was desperate here. I, I admit it. Okay, this doesn't seem to be doing the trick here. But it's definitely something someone can try, or maybe we can try the substring example we did earlier, and we know we know that this is three uh, characters long, so maybe this time, yep, haha, <laughs> this time I won. I got it. Okay, that was cool. Stuff stuff we can do with strings, you know, we can play around. Another thing we can try, uh, let's start the listener, let's grab the payload fresh again. I'm gonna grab, grab the original this time, because why not? So one more thing we can do is actually diminish this thing a little bit, which is not suggested, uh, recommended, but it's an option. For example, we know that this, uh, that this line here is uh, recreating the cell prompt, so we can just take it out, maybe substitute it with something a little more silly, and maybe this thing can work, so yeah, actually it did work, okay, crippling things is not cool, but it's an option for sure, okay, cleaning up here, restarting everything, grabbing payload again, let's grab the original, Okay, let's go here and now this time we can try adding things, ins insignificant things in between. So, for example, what's going to happen if I just add a, a very small delay here? Is this going to... Well, actually, this worked. Okay. And maybe this would could probably work in different places as well. So... Let's just erase this. So we are point zero again, and maybe before this loop starts, possibly we can just do another small delay, and this would would work as well. It worked actually. I just didn't start the listener. So this too seems to be effective as well, and. Maybe if it, it actually didn't work, something we could try from this is to add uh, multiple ones. For example, this would still work. 0 0.1 and slip 0 0.1 and uh, this trick this stupid little trick uh okay we already saw this works but if it didn't maybe if we added four of these it could actually bypass it and this is what i had in mind this that we would probably need to do but okay whatever it works out of the box so that's pretty much it okay guys that was it a pretty quick video about uh using a very common template that has been used and is being used maybe constantly 
to get a reversal on the Windows machine, we saw a few very easy tricks we can do to bypass uh, protection and reuse this all time classic and favorite payload. So if you liked it, please subscribe and thanks for watching.